We are trying to make an eco-friendly mosquito repellent. Our school is working towards a green school. So this is our first step in contributing towards reducing global warming. Because all the repellents that you get in the market have got aerosols. The children wanted to do an eco-friendly mosquito repellent. The children are doing it themselves without the help of the teachers. A group of students did the filming on their own. We didn't have a camcorder, we have bought one, so children know how to handle that. So I think it is a learning process both for the teachers and for the children who are involved. My students generally get to see the colours, get to feel the warmth, get to smell the maybe not too good smells and then they know what's chemistry. Doing an experiment, having a distillation, getting a distillate is all within our own framework. But I can't rule the mosquitoes. We were really excited when it was shown on video that yes, the mosquitoes were really getting affected with the mosquito repellent. That was the time that I felt at least that yes, we have achieved it. If that drop didn't fall into the conical flask, then my experiment was not there. So that was the basic thing and we all were focusing on that drop. Please drop. <laughs>
not very effective in high concentration of mosquito. The harmful effects of various mosquito repellents available in our local market. So, let us do publicity and reduce toxicity. We can spread the message. Each child's contribution can combat mosquito pollution. Okay, so Amish, tell me, what mosquito repellent are you using at your home? Uh, I use a natural repellent that is lemongrass extract at home. So, can you show us a sample please? Yeah, I don't have the lemongrass oil, but I can show you the lemongrass plant. Are you satisfied with it? Yes, absolutely. It has many properties, analgesic and antidepressant. Where my friends are carrying out the extraction process of steam distillation. This will be used as a natural and eco-friendly mosquito repellent. No, steps are also painful. Yeah. Yeah. First. I guess that's okay. Now we need to give them into the round bottom flask. Put some lemongrass leaves into the flask. The, I can see it. Yeah. And yes. Yay! Drop. Drop. Uh, and great. And Finally, drops are falling into the conical flask. That's great. At last, we were successful. Look at the drops. Now we created some display, which we're now going to pour into empty containers. Okay, that's great. And we have also collected some empty plastic containers into which the display is now going to be poured. Hey Ayush, can you please pour the display into the container? Open this container and now you can pour it carefully. There it goes. And now we close this. Here's the closing cap of this. See, they are moving away. What are you doing now? I am heating the lemon grass oil so that we can just escape this fumes into this glass box. So See, they are running away. <laughs> Means lemongrass oil is a good liquid vaporizer too. Uh, better than other repellents. Yeah, no doubt about it. Wasn't that amazing? Don't you think we should change over to this natural and eco-friendly mosquito repellents? We are also using plastic containers which would otherwise be a burden on Mother Earth. As the head teacher, when you saw that video, what was your response? I was very happy that children are able to handle something on their own. The school doesn't have children coming from very, very rich backgrounds. So we are interested in giving them exposure to all kinds of uh, activities. So, and in the process, if they are able to gain that confidence, I think we have done our job. And so my initial reaction was, children are learning something, and in the process of learning, they are enjoying it also. Yes, that was quite evident, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, Uttara, were there any surprises? The surprise was that, you know, we didn't expect the children to enjoy it so much. We thought, you know, they would take it as a boring class, and you know they would just go again something with the teachers have told us to do it but finally you know they had more enthusiasm about it than even we had but they were they were so enthusiastic and they? they were so enthusiastic to the level they started trying this by themselves without my telling they wanted to taste feel all those things why were they so delighted when they actually got and the first drop of distillate. That is the thing they were waiting for so many days, you know. <laughs> they wanted to see how the first distill comes because they have never done this before. So when they were doing the experiment, what is the outcome of the experiment, they were all eagerly waiting. And as soon as they, they were all blowing into that apparatus and as soon as they saw the first drop, they all jumped with excitement. I can see it. Yeah. And yes. Drop. Uh, and and finally drops are falling into the conical flask. That's great. At last we were successful. Look at the drops. This was something really different. This was where a lot of children were trying to do things together. 
usually either they're working on their own or maybe just two children. Here, a whole group had to function together. They had to handle very, very delicate apparatus and they had to reach a goal. And the fact is that they had their roles cut and dried out. Somebody would handle one kind of an apparatus, the other would handle the other apparatus, and they knew exactly what they expected from each other. So how much input did you give to them before they started? We gave them the basic guidelines, like what exactly we expected from them, how they're supposed to go about doing the experiment, and for the video, I had told the children who were supposed to video film that there were, these were a few angles which I wanted. After that, they were left on their own. What is it that you would like to say to schools in the UK? We can help uh, protect the environment in our own way without having to do anything else like uh, buying any other expensive equipment or going here or there. We can do it at, uh, sitting at our home and just making a bit of effort. Okay. And from the students in UK, we would also like to some, see some video if they do some projects so that we get to learn something from them. Yes. Because it's not just one way uh, exchange, it has to be two way. For that, we would like to request them to send some videos so that at least we also get to learn something, something new. When they look at the video which our children have made, it's just kind of telling them or they can just feel that it's me who is doing it and be a part of it because it's not any adult, it is not any teacher, it is not anybody who they cannot relate to. It is somebody just like themselves who is performing the experiment. It is as good as they're doing it themselves. So I think the children will relate far better to this than to some adult showing them something. So this is how I think we reach out to far more students than anything else. With this video, I think we are able to tell the children all over UK that in schools you can work towards making your globe a green and a better one. So, and as future citizens, I think that is what we would expect them to be. Hi, Avnish. Hi, John. It's a great film that you made. Thank really, you very really much. Really nice piece. And it was nice to see you've got a whole variety of shots that you used. Great use of the top shot. It was nice to be able to see everything from above. What made, what made you decide to use the top shot? We had limited angles. We could not point this side because it was the source of light and everyone was looking very dark. So a top shot is something where everyone's face can be viewed, everyone can be viewed, along with what they're doing. So do you want to show me how you got that shot? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, so, how did you find that useful in your filming? See, the basically, advantage of the top shot is we get every detail of what we're trying to show. And so it becomes understandable to the viewer. That's what, exactly what we tried. That's great. It's really, really cool. So does that mean that the school will be turning into a little distillation business? Yes. <laughs> yes, why not? <laughs>